Well, here we are fishing somewhere different. We're not at a Wimmera Water this weekend. We're fishing Lake Bullamera near Camperdown. Uh, we're going to fish here this afternoon, and if it's good, we'll fish here tomorrow morning as well. Otherwise, we've got a few other options. There's three or four good lakes down this way. We're going to mostly fish for um, Chinook Salmon and Tiger Trout today. I haven't caught a Tiger Trout before, either a Zephyr. And Zephyr wants to get his first Chinook Salmon. Reports are good, so we should be able to catch something. Mostly going to bait fish with um, pilchard fillets, and we're going to do a bit of trolling as well. Anyway, let's get this boat in the water and see what happens. Give it a crack. New boat ramp. It's beautiful. Really good to use. Probably needs another couple floating pontoon floating jetty, so I reckon it needs another floating jetty on this side, same as the other side. But otherwise, she's pretty good. Ready to rumble, Zeph. find some fish. She drops off quick. Just found some good marks on the sounder, some nice fish down there, and there's a patch of um, smaller fish behind us too. So we just put the spot lock on the electric motor, and we're just going to use a simple running sinker rig, little circle hook, and just a piece of pilchard, just drift it down to them, burling up with um, some chook pellets soaked in tuna roll, and we've got some old pilchards we're going to chop up for barely too. So let's get started. Try this little cube of pilchard. Pilchard fillet's probably best, but um, it's still a bit frozen. There's fish down there. Just drop that down and then wind it up about a metre. Cube up some pilchard, so just cube it up small. Pilchard fillet. I'd do it on this cutting board down here. I've never used circle hooks for these salmon before. I've always used J hooks, but um, I haven't fished here for about five years or so. And I've only converted to circles in the last couple of years. But I'm sure they'll be fine. Hopefully better. Dropped it down the bottom and I've just raised it about a metre or so. And this one we'll put out unweighted. Now we'll just let him hook himself. He's all yours when he takes it. He should hook up. Didn't take too long, did it? What? Oh shit! <laughs> he's on! I reckon he's on! <laughs> you pull your in? Did you get him? I don't know if you got him. No, I was like, I want in all the spare one. Well, the circle hook did not work. We'll try again. Again. Yeah, you got a bite, Seth. Is he taking it? Whack him. Get him? You've got him, I reckon. 
Yeah. Yeah, I know. You got one though. One is it? Mm. It doesn't look so little. No, no, Dylan. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. He's a good one. He just doesn't know he's hooked yet, mate. He's a Chinook salmon. Nice fish. He just doesn't know he's hooked. So you'll wake up in a minute. See? Good job. Here he comes. What's wrong with him? He's half asleep. Now he's waking up. <laughs> I'll get him. It's only real light gear, so you have to be real easy on it. It's been a while since I've had a fight like this. Yeah. Here's a big one. Oh. Got him. I'm pretty hopeless with that, aren't I? <laughs> Look at him, he's a beautiful salmon. <laughs> High five. Well done. You nice fish. You did it. I haven't seen one of these fish for years. Me and Curtis used to fish for them all the time. And they're great. Look at him. Nice fish. Nice one, Zef. Happy with him, Zef. Yeah. Gave you a bit of a fight when he woke up. He didn't do much to start with though, did he? His tail's a bit damaged there, I don't know what happened there. Beautiful fish. Your first Chinook salmon. Yep. Mission accomplished, just need a tiger trout now. Yeah. Beautiful. You got another one, Zeth? Whoa! He's going. That's on a circle hook. You've got this one. Go, Zeth! You got a hot bite now. You like this sort of fishing? Yeah, it's my favourite. There's no snags for him to get here on, so just let them wear themselves out running. That might be a big one, I reckon, by the look of it. It's not done, right? Really. No, he won't be done for a bit. He's a big one, I think. Jeez, <laughs> he's still taking line. <laughs> Alright, Might need the net. Is he close yet? You getting him? Maybe stand in the middle a bit more. You know, a bit more angle for me to get him in the net. Just keep him off that motor. Shouldn't, he took a big run, he's a fair way out still, isn't he? Oh, yeah, I can feel the head shake. He's a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> you love it? Yeah. Loving it. He's way out there. It's a bit different to the baby trout at War Took, isn't it? <laughs> what different? <laughs> Alright. He won't be far off now. Doesn't matter if he tangles the other rod as long as we get the fish. Maybe come around on the front. Bring your rod around. Yeah, Here he comes. He's a nice one, mate. <laughs> well, now you've um, caught Chinooks. Keep him off that electric. He's not ready yet. Not far off it though. You just about got him. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice Chinook. He's a fat one. Well done. And the circle hook did get him in the corner of a jaw. They do work on him. We are just unlucky with that first run. But that circle got him really good. So good, in fact, we could even let him go. Put that. 
nice fish. What a beauty, Zeph. A bit smaller than the first one, but he's still respectable. Yeah. Good condition. We're getting a bite on this right here too. <laughs> <laughs> that might be my turn. Yeah, for sure. Two beautiful Chinook salmon, Zeph. We haven't been here long. Beautiful fish. Might let the rest go unless we get a big one, eh? Yep. Beautiful. Happy with that? Yeah. Bit different to catching chowder at Wartook, isn't it? Yeah. They go all right. Nice teeth on them. Beautiful. So we found a few salmon or something on the active target. We'll drop some chook pellets down. So we can watch them feeding and ignoring our baits. See how they're going up in the water column? It's a good one swimming around there. So they're sitting mid-water. That's me rig there. Can feel them tapping at me boat. I won't take it. Just come and have a look. Oh, he's chasing it around. You want to see this, Seth? Here comes a big one. That's me rig there, see it going up and down. Ah, uh, it's a baby one. It's a baby one. Don't need the net. Because I'm going to let him go straight away. Beautiful little chip. Beautiful little salmon. Let him go, I think. Off he goes. Happy days. Not for the salmon. I got one. I was watching the rod before thinking, oh, is it dragging on the bottom? What's going on with it? It's just got a little one, I think. Unless it just hadn't woken up yet, like yours before. I have to get it around this rod somehow. It's not very big, I don't think. Well, he's not bad, but I'll still let him go. Just a little one. Beautiful. Just keep him in the water and we'll snip him off. Nice little Chinook salmon. That was on the twisted tuna. Beautiful little fish. So we haven't been here long, Zeph, and we've caught two. I kept two and let two go and lost one. So five hookups, four fish landed and let, let two go. Not too bad considering we don't really know what we're doing because we haven't been here for a while but it's not too hard is it pretty easy they do like this um striker scent a twisted tuna yeah. nuclear pilchard's good that's good everywhere Simple run and sinker rig. Circle hooks are good, but just lost that first strike, but you can lose strike on any sort of hook. That's fishing. That way you up, Zeph, you got a big hit. <laughs> it's gonna pull you right in. <laughs> Watch out for that motor. Oh no. Gone under the boat. I'll go back to him. Can you get him? Easy took off. Oh, <laughs> look at him go. Oh, it under 
It's like catching freshwater tuna, isn't it? Can you stop him? He's a bigger one. Oh, there he goes. The motor is lift up. He's right. I reckon you're winning, sort of. Yeah. Here he comes. Yeah, sort of winning. He's only a little. He's had a trout. It's a rainbow. Rainbow trout. Beautiful. We'll snip him off. Good job. Good fish. That's your first rainbow from Bulamero. Here's Abby. There he goes. You nearly got your rod pulled in again. <laughs> yep. Is this your tiger trout you've been waiting for? Little Chinook. Oh, he got off. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There he goes, there he goes. He's on. Bit of weight about him, bit of weight. Here he comes, I can see him. I'll bring him around to you, dude. It's a Chinook, I reckon. Not bad. He's just starting to wake up now. They do that. Yeah. Here he comes. A nice fish. It's like a brown trout. Looks like a brown trout. I think it's a Chinook. Chinook. Yeah. See the black inside their mouth? Yeah. Salmon. Nice oh, fish. Yeah. Here he goes. Well, we had a trial, it didn't work. Back to bait fishing. Pilchard pieces and pilchard fillets. Give it a crack. Give it another hour or so. Go back to camp and chill out. Same spot we're at before. Still some fish sitting there on the belly. Quite a few fish there. Oh, I think we're on, Zeph. Oh. It is a good fish. Good fish. It's a trout, isn't it? He jumped. He's fast. Come up front. A Chinook. Not a bad one. Hmm. <laughs> Been around the whole boat. He's starting to wear out now. You got him. Oh, I thought he was going to swim in the net. Right the dive. He comes. Oh. Tense moments. Not really. Oh, he's okay. Yeah, once they realise. Hates the look of the boat. Oh my 
<laughs> I thought he was going in the net then too. Righto. No. Not righto. Good fish. He's not bad. He's a nice fish. Beautiful. Got a funny looking head on him. They're good though, aren't they? They're good value. Yeah. Nice Chinook salmon. So far we've caught probably seven. We've only kept a few of them though, let most of them go. Just using pilchard fillets and a bit of striker's scent. Nuclear pilchard works really well. Got a few decent ones in the bag. Zephyr had to keep his rainbow trout because it didn't survive for lease. And we've let some others go, so going really good. Not bad for some rough horse from blokes. They usually just fish for yellow belly. Should come here more often, hey. Yeah. Well, we've caught a few. Let most of them go, but um, reckon we're going to head in now. They've gone a little bit quieter, and we've got a big day tomorrow, so we're going to drive back to camp. So it's about no 15 k's from here, so we're just going to pack up now and get back into it tomorrow. It's been good though. You like Chinook salmon, Zev? Yeah, they're awesome. Your first time catching them. Yeah. They're good. It's like a trout on steroids. Yep. You'd like to come back here? Yeah, definitely. It's a good lake. Yep. Alright, we'll give it a crack tomorrow, then we might chase some redfin later on. That's a good few hours fishing, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll give it a real crack tomorrow. Yeah. 